Hi guys, JB Minot here, and these are my recent pickups from the month of November. I haven't had time to play any of them yet. I'll try to give you a quick description. I figured, what the heck, you know, I'll kill five minutes of your time, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, this one is appears to be a watercolored graphic platformer called Gris. I've been looking forward to this game. I've heard good things about it. Okay. This is based off the, uh, the, I don't know if it's a manga or if they also based it off the, um, the movie that bombed a few years back. It was a good movie, though, but uh, they consider this, the critics love this when it came out. From limited run game Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game, complete edition. And it's basically a beat-em-up based on the Scott Pilgrim world, and the critics really, really love this game. Okay, this is based off the movie, or the novel, World War Z. You're basically a third-person shooter. You're fighting, you're shooting up hordes of zombies, pretty much. It's kind of like a tower defense game, only with guns and zombies. That's gotten good reviews. It's a port off other, uh, from other consoles. Shin Megami Tensei Five. These are by the same people who make, uh, I believe they make, or they used to, I don't know, yeah, by the same people... Who also made uh, the Persona series. It kind of plays a lot the same. You gather up demons. You build them for your teams. And you use them to fight enemies. It's more of an open world RPG type thing. Uh, but. Let's see. I can't remember if it's. Yeah, I, I can't remember if it's a turn based RPG. Or if it's a tactical RPG. But there's that. It's gotten real good reviews. Uh, only it's not. I don't think there's a lot of relationship building. Like the Persona games. Which I wish they'd bring to the Switch. You know, I'd love to see Persona 4 Golden brought to the Switch. Or Persona 5 brought to the Switch. It can handle it, but they keep bringing off these spinoffs. Okay, I like the Adams Family. Uh, I like the comic strips from Charles Adams. I like the uh, old TV show. And I also like the uh, the movies. The kids' movies that they've been showing. They're pretty funny. The last one was pretty funny, too. If not, kind of silly. But still... This is uh, The Adams Family, Mansion Mayhem. And this one's uh, apparently based off the movies, uh, the, the more, most recent animated movies, uh, which are charming. It's from OG Games, which is basically El Cheapo Games. It's kind of a platformer with uh, mini games on it. Okay, this uh, got a couple of sets of Star Wars games here that they were released by Limited Run individually, but... Uh, TH Nordic decided to release them uh, physically uh, in the general market. Star Wars Racers and Republic Commando. One is a racer game from Star Wars The Phantom Menace. And the other one is Star Wars Republic Commando, which is a first-person shooter. The second one, Star Wars Jedi Knight Collection... Is uh, from the Jedi Knight game uh, games, Jedi Knight Two, the Outcast, Jedi Outcast, and Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. I think one of them's like a third-person fighter, and the other one's a first-person shooter. Okay, this game is from uh, Nam Natsume, Connect Tank. You're basically building up your tank, and you're not traveling or driving anywhere. You, you you're basically you're getting ready for each battle. And during the active battles, you're picking up parts that you need to shoot at the bad guys. And the right color part that you use, the better the certain colors are more powerful against other colors. So you want to make sure you pick up the right colors. And you've got to keep loading up the tank to get them to shoot. And it's one of those fast-paced type games that goes through different levels and whatnot. It's a pretty fun game. Okay, now Australia, for some reason... They keep making games with, uh, well, not in Australia so much, but they keep making games with Australian-type animal uh, mascots. This is a third-person platformer, I do believe. It's called Marsupilami Huba Adventure from Microids. It's just a platformer. And you've got uh, a more uh, well-known one, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger HD. It's a port of an old platformer game but uh whatever you do don't get the tie the, the tiger tasmanian tiger collection one and two 
because one of those games is a digital game. They advertise as two games, but you're only getting one game. And you got to download you got download code for the second game. This is the the first one. I don't think they've got a physical for the second one. So Okay, this is a uh Japanese uh kind of a 2D RPG. Astria Ascending. It's got beautiful graphics. I've heard good things about it. They say the story's kind of weak, but uh it, the combat's pretty good. I haven't played it yet, but I love a good RPG with a good, unique combat system. More than just the, okay, you got a choice of uh, hitting, magic, or attack, magic, running away, and all that stuff. This looks like you got to do more than that. So, Agatha Christie, Hercule Poirot, the first cases. I like Hercule Poirot. Poirot. Uh, I love the old TV series with uh, David... Uh, Shushe, S-U-C-H-E-T, if you get a chance to watch that, if you like mysteries, it's a real good show. Uh, but uh, these are the first cases, kind of like a prequel. It's basically just a point-and-click adventure type game. Tales of Iron, I did try this game. Uh, it's an action platformer fighting game. Well, not a fighting game, but it's you use, uh, you know, combat. But it's very, very difficult. I can't really get a handle on it. I mean, the the ad that you got to be really precise. You know, it's it's more. It's not just a plain old hack and slash where you go and hacking and slashing and you'll survive. You got to be very precise in your actions. But uh, it's really difficult so far. It's a beautiful looking game though. Beautiful graphics. Okay, haven't played this game yet. Uh, they say this is like a Zelda game. Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. You're basically this turnip that owes money to their version of the IRS, and you got to go out and make some somehow by crawling in dungeons and whatnot. Like I said, they say I haven't played it yet, but they say it's like a uh, like a Zelda game, an old school Zelda game. Okay, the Sisters Party of the Year. This is basically a bunch of mini games that you play. I wasn't going to pay full price for it. I waited till the price went down quite a bit to below twenty bucks. Haven't played it yet, but it looks fun. And last but not least, Gas Guzzlers Extreme. This is from uh, GS2, kind of a uh, eh, kind of a lowbrow company. It's a uh, it's basically a combat racing game. Okay, guys, those are my picks for those are my pickups for the month of November. Hopefully, next week or, or so. I'll give out the ones for December. But anyway, I know these are late. You know, life happens. But anyway, uh, I hope to hear from you. Uh, go ahead and tell me what you think of the video. And in the meantime, you guys have a happy uh, St. Valentine's Day. And enjoy your weekend. God bless. Bye-bye.